Hey guys, welcome to your bar workout for today. For today's workout, we're gonna be focusing on our booty and that bar burn. So you're going to want a band and a chair today. I have my medium um, resistance band and we're just gonna go ahead and get that out of the way with your chair. Meet me on the center of your mat standing and we will get warmed up. All right. Go ahead and step out nice and wide here with those toes turned forward. We're just gonna start by shifting our weight side to side. Good. Start to find your breath. Start connecting to your core. Lifting your abdominals up and in. Shifting weight from one heel to the other. Good, take it side to side, left and right. Left and right. Holding it over to the right side in four more. Three, two, bring it to the right. We're gonna pulse three, two, one, and tap that foot. Three, two, one, lift and tap. Good. And breathe. Good. Three, two, and one, tap. Three, two, one, and tap. Option to take that tap into a little bigger movement with a side lift. Three pulses, and then either tap or lift. Good. You can step out wider here as you start to get warmed up, starting to actively stretch those muscles. Let's do one more. Already feeling some burn. Go ahead and sink it down. Take it side to side. Good. Last four. Last three, then we meet to the other side. In two, bring it over to that opposite side. Three pulses and tap. Good. Nice job. Good. If you took it into that side lift on the other side, add that now. Use that breath. Big exhale. Let's do two more. Last one, we got it, land it, side to side, stretch it out here, nice job, let's add a reach, open up that chest a little bit, stretch out the back muscles, four, three, two, meet me in the center, turn your toes forward if they're not already, find a forward fold, let your head go heavy here, pulse it out. We're keeping our feet out wide, toes turn forward. Go ahead and drop the hips, so bend those knees and lift your chest. We're gonna go from a wide squat, open up at the hips, finding our plie, then we're gonna step together. So take your right heel, step to your left, step it back out and repeat, squat, Plie, alternate sides. Left heel to right heel. Squat, plie, squat, plie, tap, plie, squat, plie, and tap. Just keep alternating. Good. And squeeze. Nice job. Squat, plie. Squeeze and tap, one more. Let's land that plie, hold it here. Nice job, reach those arms overhead. Four pulses, three, four. Now hinge forward, turn the toes forward, four squat pulses, four, three, two. Open it up, four, three. Squeeze the glutes, two, and one. Full forward, four. Three, two, two counts. Two, and two. Nice job. Two, 
Let's single it out, ladies. Lift and hinge. Lift, hinge, reach. It's burning. Four more. And three. Last two. Last one. Meet me in your plie. Hold it here. Go ahead and lower those arms to a nice strong T. We're going to rotate to the right side, finding our lunge. So you're going to come to a lunge, then you're going to open back up. Stay on the same side. Lunge, plie. Good. Really focusing on that lower body. Nice job. You can add a little hop here if you want a little extra cardio or keep it lower impact. Three more. Two more. Hold your lunge right here and hold. Good. Go ahead and lower your hands to your hips. Drop that back knee. Start to pulse it out in your lunge. Woo. Good. Now bring your hips legs still. I want you to extend both legs. Reach for your toes. You can even bring your fingertips down here for a little balance. Good. Take a nice stretch. Try to press your back heel into the ground. Now, nose to knee. Stretch it out. Now we're going to drop that back knee by our low lunge. It's like a crouch. Nose to knee. Lunge crouch. Good, so you're just alternating. Forward fold, lunge crouch, you got it. Three more, two more, one more. Find that lunge, now extend that back leg, hold it low. Maybe scoot that back foot back a little further, give yourself more room. Hold here, and breathe, good. Lifting your abdominals up away from that thigh. Hands can come down. Make like a little tent with your fingers. We're gonna tap that back foot in and then tap it back out. Are you ready? Here we go. In, out, in, out, tap. Stay low, back, day long. You have four, three, two, woo, one. Step it back, extend, take a nice stretch. Good. Go ahead and step forward to your lunge. Lift all the way up. Rotate open. Step back out to your plie. Roll those shoulders back. Sink it down. Let's reset here with some little pulses. Whew. Nice job, ladies. Good. Four. Three. Two. Hold on one. Reach those arms along. Rotate to the other side. Find your lunge. And then open it up. Good. So that leg that was the front supported leg is now that back active leg. Getting a little stretch in it here as we shift to the other side. Three more. Two more. Hold it right here. Hands come to our hips. Drop that back knee to your lunge. Pulse it out. Good. Eye gaze is straight ahead of you. Four, three, two, and one, find your forward fold. Stretch it forward over those toes. Good, bring your nose to knee. Then find your lunge crouch, drop that back knee. Stretch it forward and drop. Lifting the chest slightly, keeping the back long, the same shape the whole time. Just lifting and lowering those hips. Three, two, Last one, meet in your lunge. Good, step that foot back. Stretch out that back leg, nice and long. Hold here. Fingertips come down or your full hand comes down. We tap it forward, tap it back. Let's go, forward, back, forward, back. My head is almost hitting my chair. Good, you have four, three, two, and one, step to your lunge, lift, extend, open it up, little pulses to finish here, four, three, two, and one, nice job, heel toe those feet to 
come in underneath you. Nice. We're gonna turn, or I'm gonna turn sideways. Come down and find a kneeling position on your mat. We're gonna go into kneeling squats. So I want you to have your hands at heart center. You're gonna hinge at the hips just like you would if we were standing in our squat position. You're gonna press your hips, your butt back towards your heels. That chest is now bowing down towards the ground. Then you're gonna lift and squeeze through the glutes. So you lower hinge, squeeze, lift. Hinge, squeeze, lift. Good. Now to make sure the focus here is more on the glutes than the quads. You're working the quads, you're gonna feel them. Really get that glute activation at the top. Squeeze. You don't have to press your hips forward and lean back. You're just squeezing, active and strong. Lower, squeeze, lift. Good, four more. Hold it back in three, two, Bring it back and hold. Find that halfway mark. Lower, now lift back to that halfway. Lower, squeeze, lift. Use your booty to lift. Lower, squeeze, lift. Put your hands on your tush. You should feel your glutes squeezing, active and strong. Three, two, we're holding it right here. Good, you're gonna take your left hip, you're gonna pop it to the side, and then the right hip. You're a hula dancer. You're in your kneeling squat, doing the hula. Little hip pop. Squeeze and squeeze. You got it. Four. You have three. Two. One more. Each side. Nice job. Come all the way up. Good. Bring your hands forward. Tuck your toes under. Press all the way back. Find your downward facing dog, start to pedal it out. One side and then the other. Good. Stretch it out here for four, for three, two, and one. Come all the way forward, find your plank. Good, strong plank position. Taking our right leg, we're gonna lift that leg. We're gonna bend, bring your heel in towards your booty. Hamstring curl, squeeze, squeeze. Holding your plank, that knee on the opposite leg can come down if it needs to, four, three, two. Hold that knee bent, little pulses up. Squeeze the glute, kick through the ceiling. Four, three, two, and one. Extend, hold your plank. Try to stay in it here, other side. Little hamstring curl, pulse. Squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, hold it in, pulse it up, up. Don't arch your back, squeeze your butt. Four, three, two, one, set that foot down. Press it all the way back and stretch. Start to make your way. Walking your hands back to your feet. Ooh, hang here for a breath. Get that good stretch through the back of the legs. And then slowly start to roll it up. Nice job, ladies. All right, let's grab our chair and our band. We are warmed up and ready to work. So the band is gonna be going around your thighs, above those knees. The band is optional, okay? It's always an option. So if you don't have a band, it's fine. Or if you just don't wanna use your band today, it's fine. Take your options. We're gonna come side facing to our chair. Your feet are gonna be about hip width apart. And have your space from your chair almost an arm's length away if your arm was extended straight. So I don't want you up too close. Give yourself a little space here. Keeping your hand light on that chair. Walk your feet apart enough so that your band stays on. So you're not gonna be super narrow here. We're gonna go to a squat and stand. Just our basic 
bar squat. Good. So if you're newer to bar, keep going at home. I'm just gonna turn to the side. Your bar squat is gonna be right here. You're pressing your hips and booty back. It's a little different than a squat that we would do in a strength training workout. Good. All in the hips. <laughs> Woo. Now we're gonna add a squat, side tap on that outside foot. Squat, side tap. Squat and tap. Good. Four more. And then we add on. Last three. Last two. Next time, we're gonna lift. Squat and lift. Good. Now, as you lift the leg, I want you to alternate between pointed toes and flexed. So point and now flex. Good. Squat, point, squat, and flex. You have four more. Woo. Two more. We're ending with that leg lifted and our ankle flexed right here. Bring it up and hold. You should be feeling it by now. Little pulses, straight leg up. Oh my goodness. Four, three, two. We're not done yet. Hang on. Bend your knee, bring your heel back towards your booty. Now kick it out. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Don't worry, we're gonna stretch that inside supportive leg eventually. Four more, go four, three, two. Hold that knee bent, good. Now lower that knee down. You're gonna come to a single leg squat and you're gonna lift to a hydrant. Oh my goodness. Standing leg, that booty is shaking and trembling. Good, so you're lowering, then you're lifting. I promise the stretch is coming. First, we're gonna pulse right here. Three, two, one. Squeeze and lift, good. Three, two, one. Yes, you can, four more. Squeeze and lift, take a break and shake it out. Stretch it out if you need to. Come right back, you have two more. One. Lift, last time, three, two, one. Squeeze and lift, lower down. Take your inside leg, find a standing figure four stretch. Holy moly, that burns. All right, inside foot now is gonna step back to a reverse lunge. So drop that knee straight down. You might need to take that band, slide it up a little bit. If the band gets to be uncomfortable or a nuisance, take it off. Find your reverse lunge and pulse. Good. See, I'm being nice. We stepped back on our inside leg. That booty was on fire. So now we're gonna shift the focus to our front leg glute. You're welcome, because I love you ladies. Woo. Little pulses here in our lunge. Most of your weight should be in that front heel. Should be feeling it in the glute. Your back quad also, yes. Four, three, two. Okay, the niceness is over. We're crossing over to a curtsy. Then we're stepping back to our lunge. Now we're staying low. Curtsy and lunge. Curtsy and lunge. Four more and then meet in your curtsy. Chest stays lifted. Three more. Two more, stay low. Feed in your curtsy right here. Hold it low, hold. Woo. Breathe, four, three, two, and one. Step it forward, nice job. Do a little active stretching here. One side and then the other. Keep the band in place if you can. If you've already ditched it, that's okay. We're gonna turn to face our chair. And I want you to turn your heels in turn your toes out. Your heels are not gonna connect, otherwise you'll probably lose your band. So just have a few inches of space in between those heels. We're gonna lift up to our releve, then lower down. Lift and lower. Keep the focus, keep the focus on the glutes. I was thinking glutes in my head, 
and I almost said flute, instead I said flucus. Woo! A little faster, up and down. It amazes me how I come up with a different word every single time I teach a workout. Lift and lower, eight, seven, you're squeezing all the way up through the hamstring, four, three, two, hold it lifted on one. Now bend those knees, find a plie. I'm turning facing you just so you can see. Diamond shape with those legs, heels are lifted. Good, hold here. Chest is lifted, so since you're facing your chair, sometimes it's easy to find ourselves falling forward, leaning on that chair. Shift that weight back, shoulders over hips. You're holding your plie, you're holding your heels lifted. Now start to pulse, down, squeeze, lift. Down, squeeze, lift. Every time you lift, squeeze the glutes. Down, squeeze, lift. Down, squeeze, lift. Four more. Three more. Your option would be to lower the heels. Two more. Last one. Hold your plie. Get to that point where you're uncomfortable. Now start to pulse the knees out, out. Squeezing through the side hip, side glutes. Hold. And four. And three. And two. Hold your plie on one. Now just the right leg. Pulse it out. Now left leg, pulse, pulse, two, one to the right, four, three, two, one to the left. Doubles, right for two, left for two, right, and left. Let's single it out. Go right, go left, right, and left. Four, three, two, and one. Extend and lower those heels. Pedal it out. We're going to take our chair over to the other side. Nice job, ladies. Whew. All right. Coming back to our squats. Here we go. Squat and stand. Whew. We got to even it out here. Good. Squat. Now, this band is serving a purpose more than just helping to add some resistance. As you squat and stand, try not to let your knees cave in. Think about trying to press out on that band. Now add that tap. Squat, press out on the band, tap. Squat, press out. Good. Our knees tend to want to cave in. We want to press it out, open it up. Good. Now take it to that side. Lift and squat, lift. And squat. I'm just gonna scoot a little bit further away from my chair. Now alternate, point, and flex. You should feel that difference. Just with pointing and flexing your foot, isn't it crazy how much our whole body is connected? And that's why a lot of times in bar, especially, we start with like our footwork. So releves because it all starts at the feet and the ankles. Point and flex. Two more. Land that leg lifted, ankle flexed, little pulses up. Squeeze, squeeze. Four, three, two, hold it lifted. Bend, extend. Nothing else moves. Check in with your full body here. The only thing moving is the lower half of your leg. Try not to lean and fall into your chair. Lift up, use your obliques. Four, three, two, knee stays bent, hold here. Squat, squeeze, lift. I know, I'm telling you, it's shaking, trembling. I know it burns. Stay with me here. We're almost there. Take it to those three pulses. Three, two, one, squeeze and lift. Three, two, one, three more. Two more, three, two, one. Last time, three, two, one, squeeze and lift and lower. Ah, stretch it out. 
Oh my gosh, I kind of hate myself right now. Not kind of, actually a lot. Uh, it feels rock hard. All right, step back on your inside leg. Drop it down, find your lunge. Check in with your feet. You're not here, you have space. You went right from your squat position straight back to your lunge. Drop that back knee, start to pulse. Now start thinking about actively switching most of your weight into that front heel, front booty. Yes, your quads are working, obviously, but really focus on down, squeeze, lift through the glute, down, squeeze, lift, even slowing that pulse down can help. Four more, three more, keep going. I gotta change the song, this is driving me crazy. Two more. Last one, hold your lunge, hold it. It's not letting me switch, hold it. Woo, you're welcome. All right, we're stepping, curtsy, and then lunge. I don't know what that song was, but oh my goodness, I just couldn't take it anymore. Good. Curtsy, lunge, chest stays lifted. Four more than we meet in our curtsy. Three more. Two more. Meet me in your curtsy right here. Hold it low, hold and breathe. Chest is lifted. Drop it even lower if you can. Four, three, two, and one. Stand it up. Active stretch here. Figure four, each side. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, we are done with the chair. Hallelujah, get it out of the way. We're gonna come down to our mat and we're not getting too excited yet. We're gonna end on a super fun note here. So go ahead and take that band off. I want you to come seated to start. All right, now take the band around your left foot and then up around your right thigh. So it looks like this. Come all the way down onto your back. Roll down. Good, both feet plant down on the ground. Arms are at your sides or reaching up to the ceiling. We're gonna roll through the spine, lifting up to our bridge. Good, hold here, start to pulse those hips. Squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Good, for four, and three, and two, hold on one. All right, walk your feet in a little bit closer to you, just a little bit. We're gonna lift up our right leg. So bring that right leg to a hover. You're in your tabletop position, hold here. Now drop your hips to a tap, squeeze, lift. Lower, squeeze, lift, single leg. If that's too much and does not feel good in your back, keep both feet down. You just have four more, three more, two more. Last one, lower that other foot down, lift those hips a little higher. Now roll through the spine all the way down. Good, lower those arms. Keep the band right where it is. We're gonna roll onto all fours. So flip around, keeping that band in the same spot. Hands come down right underneath the shoulders, knees stack right underneath those hips. Okay, we're going to kick back, so I'm gonna scoot forward here a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I'm crawling. I am crawling. You're gonna kick that leg back, that foot and that band. Now control it as you bring that knee back in. That knee hovers. Kick it back, press your heel back behind you, and then slow it down as you bring it back in with control. Five more. Bring it in. Four more. Your eye gaze is down towards your fingertips. Three. Two. Holding that straight leg back right here. Hold it back. Little tiny pulses up. 
So think about leading with the heel. Oh mama, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, take that band off. Take it off that side. Press it back, find your child's pose. Stretch it back. All right, ladies, we are so close to the end. Flip it around, switch the band. So now it's gonna be around your opposite foot, opposite thigh. Okay, we can do this. We got this, we're in it together. We are a team. Roll it down all the way. Planting both feet on the mat to start. Knees are right in line with each other. Feet are in line with each other. Arms are either reaching or strong at your side. Roll through the spine all the way up. Come to your bridge. Now when you get to the top of your bridge, check in with your form. So, knees are lifted, then your hips and pelvis, then your ribs. So if your ribs are like this and they're above your hips, sink it down. Cinch up your waistline, cinch up your core. Start to pulse those hips up to the ceiling. Good. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Four and three, two. Hold it, lift it on one. Now I'm gonna walk my feet a little bit closer to myself. I'm gonna lift that left leg. So that band is around the thigh. Left leg is lifted to tabletop. Lower, tap the booty down, squeeze and lift. So you're lowering, keeping your back long, and squeeze and lift. Whew. Press into that stabilizing leg, that supportive foot. Full foot, three, two, and one. Lower that foot down, lift those hips back up. Roll through the spine all the way down. Nice job, rolling onto all fours or flipping around onto all fours. Last time here. Let's finish strong. Go ahead and find that quadruped position. You're gonna go to that kickback and then bring it in with control. Good. And again, kick it back. Control it as you bring it back in. Please keep your neck long, your back long. Try not to look underneath you or behind you. Good posture. Press it back. Bring it in. Let's do three more here. Two more. Hold that straight leg back. Good. Flex at the ankle, pressing your heel up to the ceiling. Little pulse. Squeeze. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Who is glad that this workout is almost over and we get to stretch? In four, three, I am, two, and one. Release. Take the band off. Oh. Bringing feet together, knees out wide. Press it back into your rest pose. Stretch it back. Nice job. And then let's go ahead and tuck those toes under, press it back to our downward facing dog. Start to pedal it out. Make sure you have room behind you. I want you to sweep your left leg up towards the ceiling, bend that knee, open up that hip, and then bring that knee all the way forward and underneath you, finding your pigeon. Take some deep breaths here. Start to recover. Start your recovery right here with your breath, slowing it down. And breathe. Lowering down further into that stretch if that's what your body needs. And then walking your hands in, tuck those toes under, press it all the way up. 
Lower that foot down, pedal it out. And then sweeping the opposite leg up. Bend that knee, drop that hip, open it up. And then bring that knee all the way forward, bringing that leg underneath you. Smile. You guys kicked butt, literally. We kicked our own butts. You guys did awesome. Be proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of me too. And then walk those hands back in. Press it back one last time. Sweep that leg up. And then lower it down. Bringing those knees down. Press back one more time to that child's pose. Walk your hands in. Let's come to a seated position. We're going to do a seated pretzel stretch. So I'm going to have my right shin forward to start or kind of underneath me, I guess. And then crossing that left knee over. <sighs> Take some deep breaths here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. You can find a little twist here to deepen that stretch. Good. And go ahead and untwist. And take it to the other side. If you need more stretching, stay and stretch. Using the band is always a great way to stretch, especially your hamstrings and your glutes. All right, go ahead and find a comfortable crisscross seated position. Inhale your arms up. Exhale to heart center. Give yourselves a pat on the back or a pat on the booty. Awesome job. I'll see you at our next workout. Bye, guys.